Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Ukraine. It is approaching the late night hour here on um, Thursday, January the 11th, and all the necessary preparations are made. You guys have already seen the chocolate drop. You've already seen the patch drop. In fact, we got received another thank you video today with chocolate drop. Maybe I'll throw some of that video on at the end of this update for you tonight, but want to be really concise because we have completed all of the work. Here's Jania to my left that is necessary, and I'm going to ask him about that in just a moment so you understand, but we've completed all the work, and tomorrow we will be departing for a very long journey. I will tell you we'll begin in Kiev. We have about half a dozen meetings in Kiev, and then from there we'll be making our run, and you will be with us. You may ask, well, where are you going? Just look at the map, and we're going to all of those places. It will be a long run. But you will be here with us. You're going to experience your support, your care, your kindness. You're going to see everything that we've talked about. So it begins tomorrow. Many people have sent me questions or do not completely understand the process. Why does it take so long or why is it so difficult? Well, first of all, this nation's in a horrible war and nothing is easy. Um, so. If you just if you want to be killed, then you just do what you want to do and go off crazy to the front. First of all, you'll never get there. But secondly, you'll be blocked at the block post. But secondly, if you do, you have no you have no support system, no guarantees, no security, no nothing. That's not how we operate. We operate by the book. We operate with military. We operate with friends. We operate with relationships, but that takes time. So, Jenya, let me ask you a question. What have you had to do over the last few days, just in general, to prepare a, our trip that's laid out for the whole, whole war front? Uh, so I'm calling and checking uh, our contacts, official contacts uh, from different units, and uh, requesting uh, confirmation of will they be accessible uh, and what location. Because it's a army, it's a military, it's a war. Everything being changed nonstop. And when I get confirmation, then we 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 fix it. I'm one more time. I'm <laughs> checking, checking the list requested list. Do I get it right before? Did it get it right before? And then I confirm if there's something new. Big needs are uh, requested. We checking if is it possible to help in, in that area as well as today same situation we got requests we didn't expect it was a special unit equipment piece of equipment and we were looking and checking the the best price uh, possibility availability and what place and then this sent the link with all the information configuration in specific specific uh, like info and guys checking and getting sending us back confirmation. That's it uh, shortly. And so, all, of, all of that is done through secure communications Yeah. and only with relationships. For example, um, one of the places that I'm going to take you guys to, and this is no problem, but we're, we're working through the confirmations now, is a, a, a hospital that takes care of soldiers and have a very good friend there, a, a doctor. And for us to communicate with them, basically send him a picture and a video and then he'll respond back you have to do it with security because you just never know and it's very dangerous to communicate with people openly that you do not know so it takes time now that new request that came in today that we are going to do just so you guys understand it it will be going to a frontline area but where we will get and pick up that gift is not a frontline area. I mean, it is, but it's not. It's a, it's a bigger city in Ukraine. So now we have to go way over to this city, pick up uh, the candy, and take it all the way to the guys there. So it's not easy. So thank you for um, sticking with us. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for understanding. But the journey begins in the morning. We're going to rest up and get ready. Um, so far, it's been absolutely amazing. 
right now really want you to focus on seeing your care and your support be now delivered. We're going to do exactly as we promised, and we've already done it to this point, but you, you haven't seen anything yet. So be ready. Um, yes, fish is coming. We're going to have fish soon. Yeah. Always going to have fish. And for those of you that know what I'm talking about, you're pumped. And for those of you that do not know what I'm talking about, you soon will be pumped. So that'll be coming up. Um, additionally, we'll, we'll be everywhere and you will be with us. Once again, I remind you guys that we, we work with military. Anything we ever show you will be approved. We'll never show you anything that's not approved. As you can tell right now, you have no idea where we're at. So yes, guys, we're watching the OPSEC very, very, very closely this time because the war's getting uglier by the day uglier and uglier and uglier you may not see it on your local news i know if you're in the united states you're not uh maybe in europe you are australia i don't know but i can tell you i'm here it's ugly it's very ugly that's why we have to stand strong um so i'm excited we're going to get some rest tonight and roll out tomorrow additionally i can tell you also that our air shipment is in process you have dealt with the company on the ukrainian side mm-hmm and now we're dealing with the company on the American side, and everything is good to go. We will be sending a videographer with our crew, taking all of that gear to New Jersey to deliver it so that they can put it on an airplane. So you guys will see it. You know, that's the one thing I can promise you. Transparency, honesty, and you're going to see your support in action. I, I, that's pretty good deal yeah so anything else you want to say before we head out uh for people would not to worry all our gear tags on the pictures in the video mm -hmm. are off mm -hmm. and the meeting points we will not share correct and um yeah just trust us we, we we've we've learned a lot and are always learning but i promise you we want to keep these soldiers alive but equally important to that we want to keep ourselves alive so yes all geared up well, you know, it's taken me 24 hours just to pack and I, we're not even leaving f f yet. You say, well, what are you talking about? Well, folks, I, <laughs> I counted it up today. I have seven cameras, seven, and we have other things that we use to get video and photos. It just takes a lot. You, you, you can't just throw stuff in a bag and you got to make sure you got your armor and your, all your gear your med kits, all of our supplies that have to be loaded. And it's just not easy. So thank you for your patience and get ready for a ride of goodness. I, you know, my channel is called the hope train. I think Rick, the Ukrainian, Oh, by the way, I'm going to be having coffee with Rick tomorrow. Jane, you'll meet Rick and we'll do a video segment about that for all of you rollers out there from Rick. In fact, I think Dr. Gertis was on tonight with Rick and I was on yesterday with Johnny. Isn't it just beautiful how we all come together and uh, work? I I'll say this and let you respond. We've been doing this since day one. It's just nobody knew it. And even to that point, we had, <laughs> before all of you crazy people found us through Gertis and Johnny uh, and Rick, um, we had already pretty much done about a quarter million dollars in aid before this whole new world exploded. So I know my guys there in the U.S. will update me, but um, with the numbers we have now, plus what we had already done, we're pushing 400,000. I mean, really, if you do all of our pre-work. <clears throat> but as a Ukrainian, how does it make you feel now? And this will be the last question. How does it make you feel to see that map with all those nations colored the United States fully colored in. I, yeah, we're done now. Vermont too. Canada. All over the world. How does it make you feel? Uh, for me, it means much more than news, politic news at this moment. It means the people are with us. And it's more than just hope. That's it. That's it. So thank you for standing with us. We're going to give you a classic sign-off now that you guys need to get used to because this is what you'll see when we're rolling. And that is... Oh, watch. I got a security guy coming to me. This is going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be fun.
Дві, Добре вечір. Дві хвилинки, ми зараз їдемо. Не хвилюйтесь. Да, все хорошо? Дякую. Все? People are taking care of People taking security. care of security. He came over, we saw him coming over here. But hey, there was a real example of the stuff you're going to see. But thank you. Thank you for being here. And, um, you know, I just, I believe it's really going to warm your heart as we all together help people. Get ready to this for this phrase. You're going to be hearing it a lot over the next few months. And that is. A good night to all. To all a good night. There you go. I had to remember it. <laughs> good evening, everyone, and welcome to Ukraine. It is approaching the late night hour here on um, 